Welcome to Little Data Courses. In this video, we're going to talk about using little data variables with Google Tag Manager on the product page. Now, many times when the user reaches the product page, you'll want to send data to different destinations, while Little Data sends data to Google Analytics, Google Analytics 4, Facebook, and Segment. You might want to send data to other destinations using Google Tag Manager. Now, Little Data automatically sends a view item event when the user reaches the product page. In this video, we'll show you how you can easily benefit from having a custom trigger and variables ready for use in GTM. In this example, we have a custom HTML tag. We want to send this to a demo marketing pixel when the user reaches the product page. Because we're sending the view item event in the data layer, this can easily be picked up and you can create a custom event trigger to be used for your needs. For this, you'll need to go to triggers and you'll select new and you'll select choose a trigger type. And for that, you'll select custom event. You'll then add in the view item as the event name. And at the top where it says untitled trigger, you'll also name that view item. From there, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna save that. Now from there, you'll click into the tags on the left-hand side and select the demo tag. You'll select the trigger that we just created, the view item trigger. The demo tag here needs a price variable, but what about the price? How can we pick that up? We'll show you just how to do that. You'll go ahead and click on save for now. This is of course just a demo tag. As for real ones, you might need some information about the product itself, like brand, category, handle, ID, name, price, variant, and others. In order to use these variables, you would need to go to templates, search through the variable templates, select shop five variables by little data. Click on search categories and make sure they are added to your workspace. Shopify variables by little data. Now, if you need a little data variable sent with the view item event, all you need to do is go to the variables. You'll select new from the user defined variables and you'll name the variable of your choice. For this one, we'll name it price. And then we'll choose Shopify variables by little data as the variable type. Under the product details page, you can select any of the brand category, handle, ID, name, price, variant, or others. We'll choose price, and then we're gonna go ahead and save it. Now, when you go back to the tags on the left-hand side, you'll be able to click in on the pixel demo, and under the price, the placeholder for variable, you can change that and put in the price. Now this is just an example for the price, but you, you can do something similar for other variables. Then you'll go ahead and click save. You're all set now and you can use the view item event and you can use little data variables with Google Tag Manager. Now as always, happy exploring.